Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share a what's in my pen case video because I did acquire a new one. Galen Leather kindly sent over one of their new beautiful pen cases and I've shared on my channel before in previous videos that I am a huge fan of their zippered pen cases. I have two of them. I have one in the limited edition Crazy Horse Navy Blue and then in forest green. So I'll have these linked off in the description box below, as well as a few videos that I've done that kind of share a little bit more about these in depth. Both of these pen cases have dev stamped on them. And I just kind of knew from the get go when I first got into the fountain pen hobby that these were the pen cases that I eventually wanted for my collection. I just liked that the pens were individually slotted. They had this nice little leather piece to protect them from rubbing up against each other when you close the case. And I liked that it was so compact and I liked the colors that they offered and just everything about Galen Leather's attention to detail really drew me in and I felt like this was the only pen case for me. You can see that this one's a little bit on the newer side, not as worn. Both are just incredible in terms of their craftsmanship and I mean I've received many questions in video previous videos about what case this is so it's from Galen Leather. Again I'll have links to these in the description box below. As I mentioned, they did come out with a new pen case, and this is very different from those zippered pen cases, so I'm really excited to share that with you today. With my package, they included this Galen Leather Co. drawstring bag, so let's open it up and see what's inside. There are a couple of little goodies here, a packet of Earl Grey tea, classic lemon, and some instant Turkish coffee, as well as a little blurb about their backstory and their evil eye charm. I have those actually wrapped around my zippered pen cases, and I really, I really enjoy that like extra little touch that it gives. On the back side of this card, it talks a little bit more about the evil eye charm. And those are the little extra goodies that came with the pen case. As far as the packaging goes, I feel like Galen Leather, their thoughtfulness doesn't just end with the actual good that they produce. The way that they send it to you, I don't know. I, I really appreciate that the thoughtfulness goes from creating this and sort of the end result when you receive this. I have kept all of my Galen Leather boxes because they're just really sturdy and great quality, so kind of nice for storage. But let's talk about what we're probably all excited to talk about, the most excited to see in today's video. This, my friends, is just, oh, it's so magnificent. I wish that you could smell the leather through the video and I know that seems a little odd for me to say but just that first impression it's just an incredible smell and if you've ordered from Galen Leather before you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is their Leather Magnum Opus 12 slots hard pen case and it does have a removable pen tray. So their leather goods do come with what I guess you would call a certificate kind of going over the information so my pen case, I decided to get an undyed leather just because I had heard really good things about the color. I think it's called patina. After you've used it for some time, it's going to develop a really gorgeous, unique color to the leather. It shows the date that it was made and who it was made by. It also covers care and cleaning, which I think is really important. Um, and also a little blurb about the leather that they use. Just holding this pen case, you can feel that it's just, it's an amazing work of art. It really is. And to have it house my fountain pen collection is just a very exciting thought. So as far as the size, it is 27 by 16 and a half by three and a half centimeters or 
10.6 by 6.5 by 1.4 inches. So this case can fit pens up to about 16 centimeters long and 1.55 centimeters in barrel diameter. So it is a hard pen case in comparison to my zippered pen cases. These are definitely more of a soft malleable material, still stiff enough where it can house my pens and protect them but I would say that this is more heavy duty. This has a magnetic closure and inside the actual slots have sort of a velvety texture. Now what I love about this pen case is that this is actually a removable tray. So it completely comes out of this case and it's just kind of nice to have that option uh, if you want to lay out all of your pens and kind of have them a little bit easier access. I mean, I wouldn't mind keeping this tray on my desk if I'm kind of doing some journaling and want to be able to have quick and easy access to all of my fountain pens. This case is made with 100% vegetable tan leather and hand stitched using a wax polyamide thread. They do have a list of pens that they've tested with this pen case so you can kind of get an idea of what will fit in here. I will be transferring over my pens into this new pen case. So hopefully that'll provide some additional context and give you an idea of what pens you can put in here. So let's go ahead and fill it up. I would actually like to permanently move my fountain pen collection in here, at least the ones that I've been pulling a lot lately. So I do have this, this isn't, oh, this isn't a fountain pen, it's just my Mont Blanc rollerball, but it has a special place with my fountain pens, kind of hold it in the same high regard. I also have my Twisby Diamond 580 Rose Gold 2, and that fits just perfectly in here. Next, we have this Pilot Custom 74. This was kindly gifted to me by my dearest friend, John. So John, if you're watching, thank you. And we're gonna put that right next to my Twisby RG2. Again, another great fit. I have my Sailor Pro gear. I've talked about this fountain pen before. It's one of my favorites. It's a little bit on the shorter side, but I think in terms of this case, it's better for it to be a little bit short than for it to be too long and for me to not be able to close it, close the pen case fully. I also have my Twisby Eco and it's kind of the same height as my Twisby RG2. Again, another great fit. Let's see what else we got in here. I have my Kaviko Rose Gold All Sport. I have a bronze clip on it, and I think if I turn it on its side, that will be the best fit, because if I kind of have it standing up like that, it's not flush to the edges, so turning it on its side will probably be a better better fit. I have my Kaviko Sport in lavender. I have my Kaviko Sport Blush Pattaya. Oof, we're running out of room here already. We have my Twisby Iris. And that one is probably, let's see if I can straighten this up for you guys. That is probably the longest pen that I have. And there's still a little bit of room on the edge here, so it should fit just fine. And then we also have my Estabrook Gold Rush SD. And that is it for what's in this blue case. In my forest green pen case, I have five more fountain pens in here. So, and I only have two slots left. That is quite the pickle I'm in. I think just for demonstration, let's put my Lamy Lux in here. That way you can get a, an idea. And then I already have Twisby, I already have a Twisby Eco in here and sports. That's kind of what's left in here. 
but I think as far as a variety of pens, hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can put in the Magnum Opus hard pen case from Galen Leather. Let's go ahead and slide the tray back in here and close it up to make sure everything is nice and snug. Perfect. So the case is able to close fully with those pens. I was a little bit hesitant with the Twisby Iris because when it's kind of sitting up like this, it's not flush to these edges, but there's a little bit of room left, I think. Or maybe when I close it, it does turn. No, I was gonna say when I close it, it turns to the side, but it doesn't. So I think I could actually store my Kavico All Sport with the clip side up. And there would still be a little bit of room for me to close it fully. Yep. You know, if it's kind of moving around a bit, it'll probably go off to the side, which is totally fine. I, I do think if you're very particular about having your pens facing clip side up, then this might be a better option because the elastic will hold it in place. So that might be something to keep in mind when you're looking at all of the options that Galen Leather offers in terms of their pen cases. But as far as having a lot of amazing, high quality options to house and protect your fountain pen cases, I have to point you in the direction of Galen Leather. As a whole, I feel like I hold Galen Leather in such high regard. They really have shown the care for what they do in their products, but also in their interactions with the community. I've seen them, you know, kind of from the sidelines do a lot of great things. And I'm just really grateful that they wanted to work on a video together. So thank you to the Galen Leather team for making this possible. I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite feature about their new Magnum Opus pen case? And a bonus question, what pens would you put in here? There are only 12 slots. What fountain pens would you fill it with? I mean, I personally feel like I have some rearranging to do because I have four fountain pens here and only one slot left. So that's, that's something that I'll need to contemplate a little bit further, but I would love to hear your responses in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here weekly, so please take care until the next time we see each other, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.